stations. I get out the bathroom, the well, the port potty. I go to wash my hands. I put soap on my hands. There's no water for us to wash our hands. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Rose. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave me a like down below. So today, I'm just going to be doing a little story time of how my Puerto Rico trip went because, y'all... These people are never going to get my money again. Puerto Rico will get my money again. But the festival I went to, I don't think we'll ever get my money again. So, if you're interested in hearing about my experience with this festival and Puerto Rico, then keep on watching. So, we planned this trip around September. Um, tickets went on sale. And the festival that we were going to, we went to, was Afro Nation Puerto Rico. So essentially, they just bring out a ton of Afro beats, dance hall um, artists to a festival site, which was at the beach, Carolina Beach in Puerto Rico. And we had basically different tiers of tickets that you can purchase. We purchased general admission tickets, and it was around like $179 when I bought it because I bought it like full price. But my friends that also went with me, they purchased their ticket on installment plan, and they ended up paying more money on the installment plan than if you were to just write out buy the ticket because I guess they like charged interest or whatever on the payments. Um, allowing you to pay over time but at the end they still made a little bit more money off of you so essentially your best bet was to purchase the ticket like straight full price and it was for three days it was for Thursday Friday Saturday um, on Carolina Beach in Puerto Rico right so we got our tickets they advertised let me show y'all well, not really show y'all, but tell y'all what they advertise because I'm on their Instagram page right now and I'm just going to tell y'all exactly what they advertise to us that would have made you purchase the tickets. Okay, so this is um, from their Instagram page. And I'm sitting outside because I just love sitting outside. I like the scenery. I like hearing the trees and the wind and the birds and the airplanes. I just love all of that. But yeah. So for Thursday, we were supposed to have Burner Boy, Techno, Beanie Man, Coffee, Cranium, CK, O'Malley, Ruger, Afro B, Eddie Kenzo, right? Friday, we were supposed to have P Square, Alamide, Nara Marley, Rima, Yemi Alade, Stone Boy, Faustic, Oxclade, Buswa. I don't know how to pronounce some of these artists. Some of them I've never heard of, but some of them I have. Saturday, we're supposed to have Wizkid, Meg Thee Stallion, Shansia, Wande, Cole, Thames, Pater Ranking, King Promise, and Patrice Roberts. So that's who they advertised on their thing for everybody to go so you know a lot of people know who burner boy is they know who p square they know Wiz kid they know shansia they know temps midway through the um you know announcements like six people got canceled off of the lineup right so temps wasn't coming which i was like really sad about because i was like i really want to see her like i love her music her music is fire right so then they start giving us, you know, like promos and all of this stuff. They had VIP section as well. And the VIP got access to pool parties and I think some after parties. But all of the after parties and pool parties, you can have access to them. But you just had to pay additional money for it. Just listen to everything I'm telling y'all and piece together what I'm saying, okay? Because this is crazy. I'm going to tell y'all this is going to be crazy. So they have the VIP pool parties that was supposed to start from 12 to 4. Main festival site was from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. And the after parties was from 1 a.m. to 4 p.m. Our general admission ticket only gave us access to the festival. And if we wanted to go to any pool parties or after parties, like I said, we'll have to pay separate for them. I met a girl at the airport and she told me that the tickets were ranging from $49 to like $150 for these um events that they were hosting and these were separate events from afro nation they were affiliated with them some way somehow but they were separate from the events right so we get to around the timing for the concert and we get another notification like i said that some of the artists canceled 
months and that some of them were still coming so we were like damn bummer because we have this group chat on facebook where it's like afro nation and people just started posting on there and saying do you know xyz canceled blah 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 blah. they canceled they this this and that you know everybody's going crazy because we don't paid our money to go to these tickets and i understand that with festivals um artists cancel but we had like 10 people cancel slash no showed um so there were people names on that list that no showed like they didn't even come at all right so then we get another notification that beanie man has canceled so my friend texts our group chat and she's like damn uh, beanie man just canceled so we're not going um i don't know if it's gonna be you know as lit as we were expecting it so we were like okay what's the new lineup so they sent us a picture of the lineup they started releasing who the djs were that was going to perform and they are continuously still um promoting the event even after beanie man canceled so when beanie man canceled they put another ad out of who's actually going to i don't know this is probably gonna be so this is what the thing looks like um who was gonna be there so it still had burner boy they replaced beanie man i think with devito um so that was exciting so it was like oh, okay um devito's coming so they replaced beanie man with devito so then um we get to wednesday when we are all supposed to fly out to puerto rico um some people went like monday tuesday you know because some people were on vacation so they went out there um on their own before the event just to explore puerto rico or you know whatnot which is smart of them to do because imagine if you were planning your day around a festival that you were supposed to be all afternoon all night and you didn't also get to explore puerto rico because you only came for the festival so some people came early so we get there on Wednesday and you know, I'm excited. I'm like, whoo, we about to go to this trip. We about to have a good time. Mind you, this festival is also a cashless cardless event. So essentially they give you a wristband and on the wristband is where you would load money onto to be able to purchase any drinks and beverages at the festival. So the wristband was supposed to be preloaded. You can if you want to. The minimum amount to put on your wristband was $50, right? So I'm starting to think like if the minimum to put on this card is $50, how much do y'all stuff cost here for people to eat and drink? Because I'm not spending like $18 on no burger and fries, no like basic food at your festival because I can easily go outside of Puerto Rico and get me a meal for like 7 or $8 and just come to the festival and then go out after and eat and get drinks. So the minimum was $50. So on this thing, it says top your wristband in advance and receive free bonus credits. Um, top offs above 150 receive free credits. This offer is only available in advance for the festival. And you can top off your bracelet at any time during the festival. So if you feel like you need more money or you didn't think that you were going to be hungry or thirsty and you wanted to add money to your wristband, you were able to add money to your wristband. The gag is there was barely any signal at the festival because there were so many people on the beach and so many like equipment and music and all kinds of things happening at one time. I think there was like a signal interference. So like our phones showed that we had um, LTE 5G or whatever, but no messages were sending. We weren't able to like post on social media as like frequent as you want to because you still had to wait for your content to load and then post onto your website which was fine okay whatever some people already had their stuff preloaded but we weren't able to bring in any cash or any cards into the event you had to have everything preloaded right you are able to get a refund for the credits that you put on your card but you had to pay four dollars to get your refund back a processing fee to get your refund of the amount that you didn't use back to your card, right? So on Wednesday, we get there. We get another notification on here that said, um, you need to bring a COVID status will be checked at the gate. 
in order for you to receive your wristband. So you must show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test taken within the last 72 hours. Once your COVID status has been checked, you will receive a wristband. This wristband satisfied the COVID entry requirements for the festival um, located at Vico Beach Club. Um, the beach clubs, like where the pool parties and stuff was going to happen. So we get there and y'all, it is pouring rain. It is pouring rain outside. Um, we have to stand in this line in this rain and uh, the guy, there's a guy in front. He's checking, you know, the stuff and he's like a uh, COVID card, um, a vaccination card, um, test, whatever. Okay. So we get to the lady and these two people are like, basically like checking people's, um, tickets because they sent us electronic tickets to scan a qr code on an app which i thought was going to be our ticket access no you needed that qr code to get into the festival to receive your wristband and then the wristband is what's considered entry so once you get your wristband you don't have to wait in line anymore you just go to the security checkpoint where they're checking your bags and everything and making sure that you're not bringing anything crazy so they were saying that we couldn't bring any recording cameras or anything like that into the event, which is why I didn't bring my camera. And I pretty much couldn't even record because it was raining every single day that I went. And I was not risking going to get my camera that is like seven, $800 um, wet. I just was not going to do it. So I brought my phone with me thinking that I'm going to be able to record. Can't record Jack because it was raining. My glasses was all fogged up. Y'all, it was a mess, right? So we get to the little check-in thingy for our tickets. And the lady, each line has like, you know, I don't know if they're volunteers, employees or whatever. They're asking like every other person or every other couple people like, do you have your vaccine card? Test, vaccine card, test. They asked me for my vaccine card. I provided it. My friend behind me, they didn't even ask her for her test or a card. They just scanned her phone and gave her a wristband. So I'm like, okay, already step one, disorganized, right? That same night, before we even went to the festival, they sent out a thing on their Instagram that says, yesterday we we're informed by Burner Boy's team that it was impossible for him to make it to Puerto Rico for his performance at Afro Nation Puerto Rico 2022. We have spent the last 24 hours attempting to secure a replacement and are hugely thankful to Rick Ross for stepping in last minute to deliver you an incredible show. You replaced Burner Boy with Rick Ross, which is an American rapper. Rick Ross doesn't perform Afro beats, dance hall music. Why would you replace an Afro beats artist with Rick Ross instead of just telling us that you're going to give us a partial refund? You did not. You went and secured a whole nother artist. Most likely you paid him money for him to fly out to Puerto Rico to perform in replacement of Burner Boy. If I wanted to see Rick Ross, I would have went to a Rick Ross concert or I would have went to Miami. I did not pay to come all the way out here to Puerto Rico to freaking see Rick Ross perform, okay? I did not. So that was already a final straw for like a lot of people because that's who was the main headliner for the concert, right? We get to the festival and these people are advertising Burner Boy on all of their electronic billboards for Afro Nation Las Vegas. And they're telling people to basically get your tickets, sign up for the email listing or whatever. Um, Burner Boy is going to headline. That's kind of like disrespectful because he canceled to come to ours. Yet you're advertising him on a billboard at a festival that everyone is pretty much pissed off at. But we're going to enjoy the time because we flew out here to a whole nother territory that's not the U.S. I mean, it is the U.S., but you know what I mean? Like, it's not like in Miami or in your hometown like you had to fly on an airplane to get here and you can't drive your behind back home from puerto rico like you just can't do that so we already spent our money to get here right so burner boy canceled a lot of people no showed like i said for this event so i went the first day right the uber to get to the festival it was a nine minute drive the first uber we took was ten dollars when we left the festival there was a line of people standing outside of this beach 
you know, on the side of the street waiting for Ubers. I pull out my Uber app and I'm like searching, searching, searching. No drivers available. No Uber drivers available. No Uber drivers. Available. I keep searching, 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 searching. I'm seeing people getting picked up. No Uber drivers available. It took me 50 minutes to get an Uber driver to come get us from this festival there was so many more people inside y'all mind you so many people inside and they were telling me on the app that there's no drivers available for this for this festival when i finally got an uber uber x was 40 dollars to drive nine minutes away 40 dollars, mind you we spent 10 to get there 40 to go back right and it was split between three of us so that right there was already like ridiculous right while i'm at the festival they have porta potties i go to use the porta potties right you know porta potties are like filthy disgusting that's usually what they put at festivals there's like hand washing stations i get out the bathroom the well the porta potty i go to wash my hands i put soap on my hands there's no water for us to wash our hands no water to wash our hands y'all so i'm over here going to all of the sinks outside of this area and i'm like pressing down on the little pedal because at the porta potties they have like these little stationary water stations for you to wash your hands so i'm pressing down on all of them we're all walking around with soap in our hands and we're all like um do you know which one works do you know which one works and then they're like no th there's no water and i'm telling them like there's no water there's no water everybody's just like staring at us like like we're crazy i'm like there's no water there's no water there's no water for us to wash our hands as i'm walking out of the porta potties there's like this security lady she's like you can use this water if you want to it was water in a storage bin that shit was ice cold i think they just poured whatever leftover water they had from like the ice bins into that storage bin the storage containers that you can find at target um and she's like you guys can wash your hands here and there's like a plastic cup in there so me and these girls are like taking cups and just like taking turns washing like you know pouring water into each other's hands so that we can wash it ghetto ghetto there was no water to wash our hands baby like what the freak is going on afro nation what the heck is going on we ain't had no water to wash our hands y'all no water to wash our hands okay so that was another thing that just made me like no i'm not going back to this festival like the second day right so they replaced him with um rick ross as we're leaving you know rick ross is performing whatever he's doing his thing um the second day we just decided to go to um where did we go we had an excursion planned which i already posted that video on my channel which i'll leave a link for you guys or i'll leave it and um the end or description box i already posted that excursion we went to the waterfalls um and hiking in the mountains which was super fun um that was a great experience but that night we were supposed to still have um the concert again for the second night and we decided that we weren't gonna go i decided i was not gonna go because one like i said if you watch my previous video i fell i slipped down the mountain um twice and i fell on like my side so i felt like i got ran over by a bus and i just could not imagine myself standing for like eight to nine hours um at this festival with my hip that's like sore or whatever so i decided to stay home and then so i missed out on the second night which i didn't even really care at this point because i was already like fed up with these people right third day um we are planning to go to the festival again oh my gosh yeah i'm gonna have to wait for this um ac thing to finish yeah y'all so the third day came around and the third day is when megan Thee stallion wiz kid shansia and a couple other people are supposed to perform we get uh, another notification that advises us that wiz kid um, missed his flight and will not be able to make it at the time that he is scheduled to perform so they're pushing his time back to like 1 40 a.m so um I, yeah he was supposed to be the last one performing yeah so around like 10 i think he was supposed to perform or 12 one of those times um we get a notification that says that he misses flight that he will be there but he's going to get there later vip received a notification in the morning that advised them that their pool party got canceled and that they would have access to the after party the 
these people paid for a pool party as part of their ticket. They didn't pay for an after party, but okay, cool, whatever. Instead of y'all giving them a refund, once again, you choose to replace it with the after party. Mind y'all, WizKid did not show up and perform until like 2.30, 3 a.m. He was His new time got changed to 1.40. He did not perform till 2.30, 3 a.m., okay? They got another notification, VIP, that their after party has gotten canceled okay the after party got canceled and then on top of that they got another notification that said that everyone has access now to the after party because they moved it to the festival site so just stay after the festival and the after party will be at the festival site a lot of people got pissed off with that as well because once again they paid for a pool party they got access to an after party after party got canceled and now they moved the after party to the festival site and now it's not just vip that has their own separate party everybody has access to this after party which is cool which is fine or whatever you know general admission get access to the after party that they're having at the festival site but that was not the original plan people came for a pool party they came for after parties they did not plan to stay at the festival site way longer than they had to. One, because one of the artists missed their flight, had to extend the time. People probably had other things they had to do after the festival. Like, I don't know, go to a club, go out to eat, do something. But no, they had to stay over there where I'm pretty sure they had water by the third day. They had to have because that would have been ridiculous, right? So they canceled that event as well. And... It was just like a roller coaster of like things just happening, 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 happening. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot more stuff that happened, especially people that had um, the credits on their wristbands that weren't able to use them. Some people said they weren't able to use it. Their stuff wasn't working and all kinds of crazy stuff was happening um, during this time. It was just ridiculous. My thing is, I don't know why they just didn't issue a refund, I guess, because they probably already paid out a bunch of things. But it's just very, like, disrespectful for you to be taking people's money and basically just trying to find different avenues to make it better, but you're making it worse. And mind you, it was a bunch of black people that was here at this event supporting it we went to puerto rico there was no fights there was no violence no police was called on anybody the whole time we were there we were just having a good time dancing um eating good playing music like we brought so much money to this economy over there and i'm pretty sure that people were grateful but i spoke to a couple of the uber drivers and they were all frustrated and pissed off because none of the locals was prepared for this festival uh, the demand for uber was extremely high and there was very little supply of actual drivers and taxi drivers that was available around that time like i told you guys it took me 40 minutes to get a uber from the festival and then the prices were ridiculous like i am not going to spend 40 50 60 dollars on a nine minute drive across uh, the highway to pay for an uber for a festival when i could easily use that money to buy drinks and food outside of this festival and go to the clubs for free in puerto rico so these people need to give us our money back or some type of partial refund or some type of compensation for this because it's ridiculous they even have a um petition going out right now for artist cancellations and unauthorized fees charged on our cards um, a lot of people were saying that they're going to do a chargeback because this was not um, services weren't provided as expected, of course. And um, like I said, I feel sorry for the people that actually paid for the VIP tickets that expected a ton of things and they didn't get it. Um, general admission for me, I mean, I just took it as an L. I used that time to just, you know, explore Puerto Rico, go to the beach, go out to eat, have drinks with my friend. Um, one of the other girls decided to still go to the festival, of course, because she paid like almost 50 more dollars or more than I did because I bought my tickets during the early bird special. So I can only imagine the people that didn't purchase during the early bird special, how much money it cost them. Also, we had to buy flight tickets. We had to buy um, um, food. We had to get transportation we had to get lodging and all of this 
all the way out in Puerto Rico, if they would have just canceled the event originally, a lot of people probably would have saved themselves some headaches and whatever. But of course, people made the best of the situation. They made the best of their time. They still enjoyed the music. The DJ was trash. Like he played music for 30 seconds and just kept on talking over the music, talking, 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 talking over the music. And I was just like over it. Like you play dance hall music for people to dance and have a good time. What are you still talking? Like why you keep talking? I hate when I go to parties or the club and the DJ just keeps freaking talking. Just be quiet, play the sounds and catch a vibe. Like you do not need to speak. Play the music. Stop talking. Please stop talking. But yeah, I don't know if Afro Nation is going to get my money anymore unless they do something about the situation or it's better organized. Then I don't think they're going to get my money anymore because like all of their festivals and stuff are in another spot like they have one right now going on in portugal they have um one going in vegas and people have to pay for lodging housing and all of this stuff and i think that they probably put like a bunch of these artists on the flyer to get people to come out and you know spend their money on this festival and i don't think they probably even confirmed a lot of these artists or paid them i don't know what happened on the back end as to why so many artists canceled but 10 people cancel slash no showed or and or slash no showed like this is crazy and i'm pretty sure there's other people that have their experiences as well with this festival so there were some people saying that they don't understand why we're complaining um we that we did have a good time yes people had a good time we made it a good time because no one flew out to puerto rico to just like you know keep getting all these disappointments disappointments and disappointments of course we're going to make the best of it go out have a good time still enjoy the festival because there's music playing there's good people like we had like like a dope um group of people that went out to puerto rico it was amazing there was no attitudes no fighting no arguing no cursing no none of that y'all like it was such a good vibe with the people there so they changed the group chat name to something else and they're just like you know whatever event they're hosting or anything like that if they have like a group of people that want to come out the people were so friendly um and like i said predominantly all black we were all predominantly all black them nigerians they know how to bumba okay they know how to dance they know how to party they everywhere we went it was lit it was dancing having a good time um no one was fighting no one was arguing i, I feel like all of our souls just tied together as you know one race just being out there of course there were other races there but i'm saying that the event was predominantly black people there so i feel like these people capitalized off our, our money and just refused to give us like some type of compensation for it and then when some of the people in the group went to go research who is um like in charge or behind this they were predominantly white y'all the promoters and the um people in charge of Afro Nation are predominantly white people capitalizing off of black experience. That is crazy. So we thought that these promoters and stuff were black. No, these people were white doing all of this crazy stuff. Like, I'm just like, I feel like we got bamboozled. But at the same time, it's like, y'all, that's ridiculous. That was crazy. That was so, so crazy. But like I said, I had a good time in Puerto Rico. This is not to bash Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico was great. Puerto Rico was amazing. This is about the festival and how disorganized they were and how they literally had people fly out to Puerto Rico and all of these cancellations and notifications was happening like within hours of us arriving, days of us getting there. So it's like people literally got there, spent their money, and some people were like, oh, you guys are complaining about a couple hundred dollars? I don't know who, who you talking to because I work for my money like money don't just grow on trees like I have to work hard I get up and go to work every day for my money so if I want to complain and get a refund for what I expected from what I paid for with my money then I can do that and clearly it wasn't just a couple of people it was a bunch of people the petition has like 400 signatures right now so it's not just a couple hundred dollars sis whoever made that comment because she got me tight she got me tight but yeah 
anyways that was my um experience with afro nation in puerto rico if you guys enjoyed this story or you guys went to afro nation please let me know in the comment section how was it for you guys did you have a good time um is afro nation something that you would consider um going to i mean being with with the experience that i'm sharing i'm pretty sure there's probably other stories here on youtube i don't know if people are going to post it but if you go to their instagram page just like afronation.us and go to their comment section underneath their pictures you will be able to read everything you need for yourself so a lot of this stuff that i'm saying i did not just make it up out of my whatever i flew out to puerto rico i paid for my ticket this was my personal experience and like i said if you guys want more information about what happened just go to afro nation's instagram page go down to their comment section i heard they're blocking people and erasing posts so right now all these posts may not be there but yeah you can go on there and check for yourself um i didn't even see the post about the whiz kid that his time got pushed to another time so they most likely deleted that but anyways y'all thank you guys so much for watching um i do have little snippets of videos that i took from puerto rico which i'll put together in like a little vlog for you guys and post that after this video but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on my next video peace out